So I'm here with Mr. Boss Frank Wilson, <laughs> Assistant Manager Barry Hales. Frank, after a 2-2 draw, you probably may have taken that before the game, but after the game, how do you feel? Um, I thought that we listen. We made it challenging for ourselves, didn't we, in the first 10 or 15 minutes of the game tonight? Going one nil down after a few minutes from their very first attempt was 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 always going to be difficult to overcome because we know the quality that they have. They're in an excellent season so far. I thought off of what I saw tonight, they're a very strong team, um, and the way that they play is very effective. But we were really pleased with our response in the first half. Mm. Um, and we deserved our lead, I thought. Yeah. Um, even if it didn't look too pretty tonight in terms of how we've probably won other games and in a particular style of how we've won other games. Tonight was a lot more attritional from yeah. both teams. And I thought that you know we, we were quite pleased with how effective we were playing that way. Second half was a different story. And to answer your question... We came away from the game tonight feeling quite relieved with a point because, in truth, I thought that they were very, very dominant in the second half. And if it wasn't for some very, very good defensive displays, individually and collectively as a unit, then we would have lost the game tonight. Yeah. So a huge credit to our back four and our team defensively in some situations where we made excellent and important blocks and we stopped them from scoring. Second half felt a little bit like the Alamo, didn't it? Uh, we, we couldn't get out, we couldn't get the ball up the pitch. And I suppose we probably should have done a little bit better in terms of just being able to hold the ball up occasionally up front. I think we got, a, I think we got our distances wrong. Uh, that's where we fell down. Mm. We, we should have compacted a bit more. Or we were playing longer, we kept going back to Toby. and he's hitting it long. And they're, they're quite a big side, so yeah. and they picked up a, a, a lot of the second balls. So that was our uh, fr frustration. And we kept going back and going back, and then they were pressing us, so we had to go along. And it fell in, 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 in it their was, hands. But it was frustrating, we just talked about it in there. You know, and I, I, I used the word already um, in this interview about us being nutritional in terms of how we played and our style. So we didn't have to change anything about what we were doing that was effective and what didn't work in the second half. And the reason why we failed to have any stronghold of the ball or possession is because. Again, individually within the team, we changed the plan, you know, and we, we strayed from the plan. We done things differently to what we said at half time as a, as a group. And, uh, you know, once again, that's a challenge for us, isn't it? It's, and we've just said it in there, we've got to, you know, we've got to, you know, we've got to see more complete performances by us understanding instruction and collectively agreeing on what it is that we're doing. The frustrating thing about tonight is that we were effective in the first 45 minutes, so we weren't coming in dissatisfied at half-time, mm. we were only disappointed in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. So we're actually coming in at half-time feeling, feeling good about what we then managed to do, and then we're leading the game. So it's, it's, it's bemusing how some of us within the performance in the second half are looking to do things that are different to what we agreed on in terms of how we we're going to continue to play and what was being effective. I mean, how good was Corey in the first half tonight in terms of when we wanted to be direct, Winning first contact, being strong, being physical, getting yeah. himself involved in altercations. All of that energy in mm. terms of that atmosphere stemmed from his physicality and our physicality in terms of putting your body in between the man and the ball and being good with it. Yeah. And that looks so different in the, in the second half because if people are doing something totally different to what it is that we as a team plan, it, it, it won't work. But as you said, uh, credit to the back four and in fact the whole team, how they defended in the second half because they had to put their bodies on the line quite often. Yeah, Big physical did. side to defend against. Yeah. Difficult conditions out there with a, with a blustery wind as well. well. How many goals were scored from set pieces? Yeah. Then, you know, from yeah. crosses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, then that's a telltale sign, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, well, we're pleased with, with how we, we, we ended the game. But the, the, the second half is something we need to address because it's kind of happening quite frequently and we have to address that because we, we had it at Enfield so we, we, we need to but they're a good team so they, they're going to keep coming back at us so we have to we have to stand up to that and, and, and push on from there yeah. Just to pick out that point is is, is, the, is the, that sort of sense of we're going to games leading at half time and then the second half we seem to lose control of the game and end up losing control of the, the result as well I think, I think I think when you're being really honest, which of course we only want to be, you have you know you have to give credit to Bishop Stalford tonight. 
you know, they, we saw an immediate reaction from them. Mm. We saw it. You know, we sensed it from, from minute one of the second half. And then we watched it play out that way, where they, as a good team, got to grips with things that weren't working for them, things that they probably weren't happy about, and they changed that, and they affected that. Mm. And that's what good teams will do. Mm. We've, we've been one of those teams this season, and we were, we were that team in the first 45 minutes tonight, where we turned you know, a, a poor situation at the start of the game into a positive situation in our favour, leading at half-time. So credit to Bishop Stortford tonight in terms of their reaction and you know they they made it incredibly difficult for us to be able to find our rhythm back in the game and for us to be able to correct ourselves because if things didn't look well in the first 10 or 15 minutes of the second half we would have had opportunities if they would have let us to 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 find correctness with that and to adjust it but they didn't yeah. they they didn't let up at all they were extremely aggressive um, and and we weren't able to to you know to, to, to get out of a bad habit or a bad rut that we seem to be in throughout the second half. Yeah, but sort of uh, to finish on a on a positive, the reaction after going a goal down in two minutes, getting back into the game against a as you say a good quality side and taking the lead shows quite a lot of you know grit and determination. It, uh, yeah, it, it absolutely does. We're happy with that. Um, two minutes was it? First, yeah, it two, was minute, two minutes. First yeah. two minutes of the game and their first attempt. Um, and for Bishop Stortford, where they are in the league at the minute, sort of in and around or just outside the playoff spots, you know, feeling confident in, I think, their third or fourth in the form guide. They come into the game tonight and they score the first goal after two minutes. I think everybody around the ground is thinking to themselves, mm, OK, well, we can see where what the outcome's going to be mm. tonight. So huge, huge credit to us tonight yeah. in terms of us being able to not be distracted by that and let that let that be too damaging for us. So we were happy. And again, that's that's why we're disappointed tonight in terms of the second half, because I'll say it again, we we had momentum and an element of, or enough control at, at, at half time tonight. Um, certainly to give ourselves the, the, the opportunity in the next 15, 20 minutes of the second half to continue where things left off. But we didn't and we made it hard for ourselves. Yeah, as you say, a point against a side that's in a good run of form, high up in the table. I think we'd all go away quite pleased with that. Yeah, we would. And, and, and again, I feel like I'm talking loads tonight. Um, I, I, but I think another mention for the back four tonight, because we made our feelings known about how we defended on Saturday. You know, we, we weren't happy as a group um, in the things that we said in the debrief after the game. And we wanted to see a reaction. Tonight we saw one. We did. You know, we did. You know, we saw a huge reaction in the second half. We were very manly about what we did and how we did it defensively. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Nice.